No, just uh, uh, I was wondering if, it's, if you think it's the right moment to discuss about the fiscal capacity for the Eurozone. I think that's on the agenda of the uh, informal ECOFIN. Uh, there, uh, it is a topic that has been debated for some time, uh, mostly outside the political arena, and I think it's good that we have a discussion inside the political arena. What do you think could be the size and the timing of such a Oh, that's much too capacity. early to say. Let's have a discussion first. Mr. Dyson, so we are going to speak uh, about Spain today. Spain has no government for the moment. It seems it won't have a new government for the 15th of October. But we have to make some adjustments. Uh, how will you resolve this contradiction? There's no government to make that. How, how would you uh, approach this, this situation? Yeah, I think we will discuss today in the Eurogroup the, the procedural side of things. Uh, what should a government do? when it is really a caretaker government and it has to put forward its budget. We need to clear up or, or clarify the procedures. Uh, we've had this a couple of times now. And it becomes very difficult for the Commission uh, to judge a budget if there is no budget. Uh, and it's difficult for a government who's only a caretaker government to design a new one. So we will talk uh, about solutions for that situation today. Um, and I'm sure we'll be informed about the situation in Spain by the Spanish colleague and by the Commission. Uh, there are still decisions to be taken by the Commission, and mm. any new government in Spain will still have to get the budget back on track. So, I mean, independent of the decisions of this summer, uh, the budgetary problems for Spain haven't evaporated. They are still there. But it'll be for a new government to uh, to pick up on that and get back on track. And you will be a, a flexible on the delays, on the deadlines, on the... Uh, well, as you know, we, we can't forge a government in uh, Spain, however much we'd like to sometimes, but uh, it's not up to us, it's up to the electorate and the politicians. Do you expect conclusions today on this procedural side of things? Of how to I, I hope so, I hope so, but I'll tell you in the press conference.